diode testing. Checking some of the fundamentals. We're talking about silicon doped PN junctions. The forward voltage drop or the forward bias is 0.7 of a volt. The packaging as per example the banded end is the cathode, the other end is the anode. Schematically as drawn as shown. Remembering with respect to the WST, the anode has to be positive with respect to its cathode. In the first example, we've got zero volts on the anode, minus one volt on the cathode. That is forward biased. There's 0.7 volt potential difference between the anode and cathode that it will conduct. The second diode, a positive one volt on the anode, zero volts on the cathode. Again, that's forward biased. That diode will conduct. Third example, we've got plus 400 volts on the anode, plus 400 volts on the cathode. There is no power voltage potential difference between anode and cathode. There is no 0.7. That diode is not conducting. What we what we after when we we buy and select diodes is what current through the diode can it sustain and what is the reverse voltage that it needs to sustain on its PN junction. To amplify that. We look at a bridge rectifier. We're assuming we've got 240 volts AC, 50 hertz sine wave. We've got diode 1, 2, 3 and 4. On the positive half cycle of the sine wave we've got 240 volts coming down to the anode of D2. It's in a forward bias condition. It will conduct and the positive will come through that diode to the positive out. At the same time you've got plus 240 volts on the cathode of D1 which is in a reverse biased condition, therefore the PN junction is looking at plus 240 volts and it is not to conduct, therefore the reverse voltage characteristics of the PN junction needs to sustain that voltage. Electron theory states that a diode, when it's conducting, brings the positive from the anode across the PN junction to the cathode. What we're doing now with the mo measuring tips, we're using an analog multimeter and a digital voltmeter. What we're interested in is the voltage coming out of the leads from the multimeters is going to either forward bias or reverse bias the PN junction on the diode you're testing. When we look at our digital multimeter, in its resistance range, it is showing 0.634 volts. That's 0.63 volts across the PN junction in the forward bias condition. So the, the voltage from this meter is forward biasing the PN junction and in the resistance range it is showing 0.636 volts. When we select the diode checking position of the digital voltmeter it's showing a figure of 520. That's a manufacturer's selected number. It, he's used his circuitry knowing the voltage coming out of his multi digital voltmeter when it's in the correct polarity across the PN junction and it's forward biased and that diode under test is conducting, he, he will show a figure of 521 or 522 or somewhere around there. So he's saying that that diode is good. When we look at the analog multimeter, turn in the low resistance range in the forward bias condition the voltage coming out of that multi analog multimeter forward biasing the diode on the test in the ohms range is showing a resistance of just under 200 ohms so we know with the analog multimeter when the diode is good and is forward biased conducting we get a low ohm reading, usually just under 200 ohms. With a digital voltmeter, you're looking at the voltage forward drop, not the actual resistance reading. Okay.